And we're going to move to cities. They're going to go off that direction. And we, were, we are going to have one more panel debate, as I said. That'll be after the break. Um, but we want to hear from the perspective of cities now. And we're going to hear from two of our guests here. One is Pierre Francesco Moran, who is the Deputy Mayor of Milan, and he's going to talk about Urban Food Policy Pact. And then we're going to hear from James Taplin, who's the Lead Technologist for Urban Living at Innovate UK. James is going to talk about what people are saying about integrated urban system futures. So, Pierre Francesco, perhaps you could join us up here. You should be ready to go. Thank you very much. Uh, well, first uh, we, we started uh, on a question, how, how much uh, citizens uh, are aware of uh, the food uh, problems? And uh, our idea is that uh, this is not as much as needed. That is also why in 2008 we decided that the world event we would host in 2015, the exposition, would have as a theme uh, feeding the planet energy for life. And uh, to talk about uh, food, it was uh, at the beginning uh, considered, especially in our city by citizens, the idea that it was uh, uh, not the food problem, but uh, the, uh, how to say, like a restoration. And it is also why we decided to focus our contribution as a city on the idea of the food policy. Of course, uh, we know what are the challenges, what are the opportunities, we know that we have a responsibility, but we still have some problem to connect those things and to create action from that. The complexity of the theme needs an integrated solution, and the food, as we said before, it's one of the themes we should work more, maybe more than on the other sustainable themes where we obtained much results in the last period. And uh, we know that uh, lots of cities uh, have started before Milan on working uh, on a food policy. But uh, what uh, we decided to do before the exposition 2015 uh, was the fact that, okay, everybody, everybody, some cities got uh, their food policy, but we need a pattern, we need uh, a guideline to create uh, a scheme of uh, food, uh, uh, urban food policy. And it is uh, what we worked with other cities, uh, with the stakeholders, uh, with the foundation and association, in order to sign uh, the Milan Urban Food Policy Pact uh, that was uh, subscribed uh, in uh, October 2015. Here is our uh, former mayor of Milan with the Ban Ki-moon. And it, is, um, it has been for us uh, very important, even because um, it was a way to cooperate with other cities. Milan is part of the C40 network of uh, Euro Cities Network, and uh, we were uh, really helped by them to create uh, the network around uh, uh, the Milan Urban Food Policy that was subscribed actually by 129 cities, uh, in which they live uh, uh, half a billion of people of the world that are uh, probably one of the most relevant consumers uh, of food. And, uh, uh, this, uh, uh, how, how does it work? We, we had the pact, we work on defining uh, 37 inputs and action, and uh, to work on good practices, starting from the fact that probably we have something to uh, teach the other, but for sure we have uh, lots of things to learn so, by other uh, cities and experiences. Uh, this is the approach uh, we worked on, uh, the fact that uh, even mayors need uh, uh, a vision. Uh, sometimes the, we can, you can work on your own, but uh, if uh, you have a pattern and a scheme, it's easier. Uh, we have to work on the engagement. We saw it uh, even for the urban food policy connected with other cities, but even when we decided to work uh, most, more or less uh, uh, in the same time on our city food policy. The engagement is uh, decisive even because uh, we have to work especially on the awareness of citizens. These are the teams uh, uh, the food policy is uh, based on. And uh, how we are working? Well, first uh, we said that we have to raise the awareness of citizens, public administration, and uh, the society. 
the idea is uh, the, uh, an award. Then there is the political commitment, and then, of course, there are the actions. Uh, we are working in most of the cities with their single uh, with the city um, policies. Uh, the award is uh, in a spe special moment because today we are talking about food uh, in Brussels, uh, but uh, even today and tomorrow we will do the same in Rome, where there will be the award uh, of the Urban Food Policy. And uh, we are also working on the idea of, um, of monitoring the framework in order to create uh, a system that can help us uh, not only uh, to go on in the future with the system and to help other cities to enter in, uh, in uh, this system and to promote their urban food policy. This has been uh, very useful, especially uh, for us, which we saw it in our cities where, okay, we write our urban food policy, but now we are moving to action, and especially on lunches at school, especially on per-urban agriculture, we are uh, not only making good efforts, but we are also having big results in order to, this is a very important moment for the per-cultural agriculture in our cities. We are working on schools in order to use products from the territory around the city. And uh, this also helps us uh, to create a culture of uh, the respect of food that is uh, really important, especially in the new generation. Thank you.